Welcome everybody to Ultra Kill. This is an insanely fun first person shooter. This this is gonna feel a little bit different. I don't know if um the video is actually gonna be uh showing it like this, but like every time I, I record I record this game with frap, um, even with 60 FPS, it makes my frames drop down to 20, but at the same time, like, it's it's not that it's, like, super unplayable or anything. It just feels way laggier. <laughs> like, everything's going a lot slower for me. So I'm gonna try to play through maybe like the first two missions and just kind of see how this video turns out because I am dying to do a video on this game because this game is freaking amazing. I don't know because I also um, I recorded that Streets of Rogue video and it was very laggy for me while I was recording it and the frames dipped and all that but when I actually came to the recording it wasn't anything like that Is that really as fun? <laughs> to be fair, it's not. <laughs> this game is very fast paced. Oh, I remember this one. I played this demo like a little while ago. So yeah, as you kill enemies, their blood will go everywhere, and it gets on you, and it actually heals you that way. And you also have a dash, and then you have a slide, and then you can do a ground pound if you hit the slide button when you jump in the air. And you can also climb, climb walls and all that. How dare you! And if I can do this correctly... I like this. There we go. Sliding all the way through. See, it tells me to punch a projectile when I already, <laughs> already did that. Oh, um, dang it.
go! Oh, that one hit me. I actually kind of do like... See, that, that instantly heals you if you get like a deflect like that. Which is just amazing. This game is honestly one of my absolute favorites. That one, that's maximum hit the slide. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> okay, so I think this is the boss room. there. He's really not super hard. I did a lot better last time I fought him. Because that was when I really when I really ended up learning how to um, how to use deflect. I was just playing that on standard. Wow, I actually beat my time. <laughs> ah, I got an A. I found zero of five secrets. That's actually pretty cool. Five kills with a single glass panel. That's a challenge. I'm trying to go through like the second level too. And right here. Piercer, marksman. Boom. <clears throat> Press alt fire to throw a coin. Hit an airborne coin to deflect your shot into the nearest enemy's weak point. Oh, that's super cool. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, because this game is only in early access anyway, so. Ooh, this is my favorite spot right here. The cyber grind. It's a uh, endless survival mode. But I'm just gonna Oh, that's sick! Okay, so that, that allows you, pressing E allows you to alternate between whatever unlocked guns and stuff that you have. <laughs> okay, shot his legs out, that's what happened. And there's that dude that looks like a, a dude from freaking um, Silent Hill. Okay then. Ooh, 
we go. I think that was part of the challenge, was to have a... You were supposed to, um... One of the challenges for this level was... Or the challenge for this level was to have a surprise encounter. And see, now he appears in this room. I mean, he might not even be bad, though. I don't know. I haven't really gotten super far in it yet. There we go. It looked like freaking uh, pyramid head. There we go. That's the second level. The meat grinder. This is all just the prologue too. There's still two more chapters. Well dang. Okay. Challenge beat the secret encounter. See, I haven't done that because I never like got to it at that point. There's zero out of five secrets. Okay, and that's going to be the end of this video. I highly recommend this game 100%. So far, it is absolutely incredible. Super fun, super fast-paced, very skill-based, so I can definitely tell in higher difficulties I'm probably not going to do so well, but we'll see anyway. I'll be making more videos on this game for sure. Thanks for watching.